Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there?
What's down that way? makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy?
drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy, alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm going to say that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Berkele. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. the dress, throw it in the fire, burn it all, burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose.
started to climb out the walls in his bachelor pad. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. 
I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Director Faden. Look alive. Director on deck.
power cut. Replace the parts. Did Ati need barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers.